So we're out here in Monterey, linking up with Adrian. He ran to Big Five to go get some fishing equipment. Gonna see if we can get on something out here. Never fished out here, but should be fun. We're gonna do some fishing out here in California on the coast. I've never done it before, and I actually didn't bring any rods. So quick trip to Big Five real quick. And we're gonna pick up a couple poles. This one's got the whole kit going. We got hooks and weights and everything. So the last thing we're gonna need to find is some bait. Then we're gonna go out to the coast and do some fishing. And there it is. Fishing starter kit. Yep, got three of them. Three rods, reels, lines, hooks, weights. Did you shrimp. buy separate hooks or not? Yeah. Perfect. Like the guy told me they were catching off that pier. The, he said off that pier they were catching? Yeah. We could try it. If it don't work there, then we'll go away. Okay, sounds good. Drew, we gonna catch something if we fish? Heck yeah, always gonna catch something. See what we could do. Yes, sir. What do you think, Colt? I don't know. Hope we catch a lot. <laughs> <laughs> So something that's interesting about Cali is if you're on a lot of their public piers, you don't even need a fishing license. So we didn't come here with plans to fish, but hey, when I heard you don't need a fishing license and the fishing's been pretty good, it's like, let's try it. So that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna go out to the pier. Everyone's been saying the fishing's been good there. See if we catch a couple fish. Cristiano. Uh, bringing everything up right now. Perfect. You talked to anyone yet? Uh, no, not yet. So we're out here on this pier out in Monterey. A lot of the locals say that they catch pretty nice fish out here. We got George, who's a local. How's it going, he catches guys? Catches a lot of fish out here. What kind of fish? Um, we catch uh, mackerel. There's a few halibut out here. Uh, we got stripers. So uh, all sorts of fish, you know, octopuses in the night. So. It's a blast out here and we just have a bunch of fun. The wharf is really, very, very nice. A lot of people come out here on kayaks, all sorts of stuff. So it's really nice out here. It's not too clear, but every once in a while you can see fish swimming around. We saw some stingrays, a couple other fish, small ones. Hopefully we can get something out here. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Is that what you usually catch on that rig? Yeah, this is what we use. We use these little lures right here to get something. Mostly for small fish, as in like mackerel, sardines, stuff like that. That's what we use to be able to get some of that. Some people use it as bait. Catch them and fry them, you know? Get a little little soup, a little dinner, you know? Fry them up. They can be good as well. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's why there's no fish right now. He's out there screaming all the way. It's a beautiful pier. And uh, you guys have seen this guy. My nephew Roman, What's up? he's been in some of our videos. He told us about this spot. Yes, sir. We got some shrimp as bait. I wanted to buy like squid and everything too, but they didn't have it so at what the rig store. Yeah. Uh, honestly, this was just one of the starter kits. You just like you get from everywhere else, you know. It has all hooks and everything we need. Do you know if you can have three hooks? Or? Yeah, you can have up to 15, it said on them. Dang. That's why you can fish for macro and everything. With the sabiki rigs we were using last time, I got pretty much just like a drop shot tied up on top. Just like that with shrimp, down to my two ounce weight, another liter with another shrimp. So we're gonna run two hooks right now. We just saw, it looked like bat rays or something just swam by. So we're gonna go ahead and pitch this out there. We're seeing them swim around and see if we can catch one. That'd be kind of cool. Never caught one before. So we've been here, what, an hour? Probably. Nobody's catching anything. No. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, probably check out another spot I saw on a map that looks like there might just be more fish in general. There's like uh, kelp. Yeah, it's a big kelp bed out there. And uh, from all the videos I'm seeing, if you flick your shrimp right by those kelp beds, there's a bunch of fish down there, just fish in general. So I uh, think we'll have more odds with numbers out there than your big bite, you know? Yeah, I feel so good out here at 70 degrees in Vegas right now. It's like 110. Yeah. That nice cool breeze from the ocean too, feels great. What do you think, Colton? Next spot. Yeah, this, we ain't getting nothing over here, so. Luke, what do you think? This spot sucks. Yeah. All right, guys, so we All came right. to a different spot. We came to a different spot, and uh, looks like Man. there's fish here. People right, are catching. You Your weight was too big, huh? Yeah. Did you buy weights. little weights or no? They didn't sell weights or nothing. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. What is that? The Saduki rig? 
Uh, Saviki, right? Saviki. That's a Saviki rig right there. And uh, he baited all the little tips. He's going for perch. Yeah, they stole my shrimp. The shrimp ones at least don't have bait. So whatever bites is what I'm trying to catch right now. Yeah. Anything that bites. And there should be a lot of fish in here right now. We finally oh, caught one though. Uh, what is that? New species, I don't know. It's a weird looking fish. It's got a goofy looking mouth, huh? Come on, hook him. I'll see if I can get one on for you guys too. I don't know if he's got like barbs or what. Sometimes these things are poisonous. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. There we go. I have no clue what it is, but we caught one. <laughs> First fish. I don't want him to stab me, so I'm gonna throw him back. Ah, dude, that's a long throw, huh? I just caught him in one of these holes right here. So what I'm using now is once again a sabiki rig, like uh, like we were using last time we were out at Pismo. And then uh, we're just gonna be flipping in and out of this kelp here wherever we see a spot and just seeing if we can catch fish. So just like this spot right here, right? Trying to get as close to the kelp as I can without getting in like I just did and letting it sink. That's all I did. I got my first Monterey fish. I don't know what it is. That was pretty good. I don't know what kind of fish that was. Maybe a rock bass. A tiny rock bass. Mm -hmm. I feel a middle one. Oh, I got a fish. I don't know. Geez, they're biting every two seconds, but. That line is pretty cheap on those poles. Oh, are those rock bass? I don't know. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know what this is. Honestly, I have no clue what these are, but we're catching fish, right? They're uh, they're probably a species of like bass. I don't know, maybe a kelp bass or something. If you know what that is, comment it down below. Obviously, these aren't eater size, but. I'm sure I could Google it right now, but I'm not gonna bother until we catch one that maybe we wanna eat if we're gonna eat some, so. There's a bunch of them down there though. And uh, it's kinda cool, just little fish. Is this the same one you caught, Species? Yeah, it looked like it. Yeah. You got one, you? No. So all this kelp, it's pretty hard to fish in, so there's like one little spot right That's there where there. we can actually cast without getting stuck. I saw a huge sea lion over there. I'm gonna go see what's going on. Look at this guy. This one right here is one that some people eat. Looks more familiar. That looks like a little kelp bass or something. Like a little rock bass of some sort. Yeah. This is one that gets a lot bigger and people eat these. I do know that, I think. But, interesting. They need some bigger fish around here. There's a lot of fish. They need some big ones. Right where those otters are. Right, right where I cast it. <laughs> Looks like it's getting deeper, huh? Yeah, it's in there. There it is. Let's see what you got. A greenling or something? Is that what that is? I don't know. There's another bass or some sort. This right here is right where I cast it. Where they keep casting. Getting They're poisonous. Cast. You can cross me. Oh, I got one. I had one. This is a different species right here. That is a different species. Look at that thing. That's pretty cool looking. Oh. What is it? I don't know what fish this is. Hey, Theo! They got a big one. Alright, the biggest one. Right. Oh, man. Oh, oh snap! Oh, oh, oh. I have one. Oh, oh yeah. He oh, he one. killed it. <laughs> Look it. Oh, Double oh, hookup. Big bait, big fish. Yeah, like I was fishing with a. Uh, little shrimp imitation oh, and I caught uh yeah caught a good size one so 
This is big for right now. It looks like the water's still coming up. Let's get deeper. So I brought all my nephews out here. Little nephews, little cousins. And I was hoping that they all got a fish. So out of all five of, how many of us are there? All six of us already caught. They're small, but I mean, it was fun. Yep, First time out here. Look at that. That one looks cool. They're slowly getting bigger as it's getting later in the day, but still nothing too impressive in terms of size wise. But this one put one heck of a fight up. These poles, you would think that they're like stronger. You know, it's a thick pole, but this guy was pulling drag and put me on a good fight. So it's pretty good just for buying the poles about an hour ago and coming yeah. out here and catching all these fish. Yeah, we're catching fish, you know. Uh, we just stopped right at the store, bought some cheap poles that came with hooks and everything. And this came in their little kit. And uh, this is what I've been just jigging around weedless in there. And it doesn't look like the best thing in the world, but it's working. I didn't really know what we're coming out to catch, so uh, we just bought a kit and it works. All right, it's getting late. This beach has been fun. We caught quite a bit of fish on it. A uh, bunch of small ones. The first spot we went to kind of sucked. There was not a lot going on there. I'm sure sometimes it might be good, but as far as today, went, it was not. So We came here, battled with getting stuck a million times, and then uh, managed to figure out a good little bite for rock bass or whatever all those were. We caught a few different species, so it's been fun. It's starting to get dark. The sun's starting to set, so we're going to head back over to uh, Soledad, right? Yeah. Right, we're gonna head back to my aunt's house and see what else we can find out here in California. We caught about how, how many did you get? I only got one. You? I got like three. I got like two. Probably five or six. One. All right, so everybody caught one. We also got That's a bunch good. of liars. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for one of you guys to be like 15. Yeah, I caught about 40. I didn't, I didn't want to show off now. Look at this beautiful view, man. We're out here just enjoying ourselves. We bought these poles and um, came out here just to fish them today. And we're out here having a good time. Beautiful view. Monterey is beautiful. California is beautiful. Uh, don't agree with all the taxes and stuff like that, though. It's too expensive to live here, but we love this, this area. It's nice. All right, let's get out of here.